Welcome to Pantech e-learning. Digital learning is simplified by IP learning. Today we are going to see the project Design and Analysis of Interleaved Circuit Converter. This project is based on IW paper transaction. Here is the block diagram for Interleaved Circuit Converter. From the main 230 volt power supply, we are connecting the step down transformer, 12 volt step down transformer to the main circuit and TLP to free driver unit. And for the DSP also, DSP microcontroller. In the main circuit, we are using rectification and filtering process. After that, the voltage is fed through interleaved circuit converter. We can see the output across this resistive load. By using DSO or CRO, either we can use multimeter also. Now we can see the product explanation. This is the DSP 304011 microcontroller which we are using in this project. Here, this is the main IC and this is the power supply unit, voltage regulator, net rectifier, and here we are using the crystal for oscillation and this is the reset switch and here we are using another two switch which is used for increase and decrease the duty cycle by varying that we can vary the output voltage TLP250 driver unit in the block diagram itself we can see from the main peak, DSP microcontroller the pulse is fed to TLP250 driver unit because the pulse from the controller will be around 3.3 to 5 volts which is not enough to power up the switches like MOSFET or IGBT for that we need around 12 volt for that purpose we are using the TLP250 driver unit which is used to amplify the voltage with the same frequency and it has gain production also Here is the image for TLP250 driver unit. Here is the input pulse which is given from the controller. And here we can take the output pulse which can be given to MOSFET or IGBT. Now we can see the comparison of the pulses. As I told before, here we can able to see from the input pulse. You can see here I have kept the voltage around 5 volt. Then this single line will be around 5 volt. This is the input pulse. And in this area, we can see the isolated pulse. Same 5 volt has been kept. Now we can see 5, 10, it's around more than 12. But as I told before, same without change in any frequency. Our duty ratio we can able to see the same pulse will be around the load. This is the main circuit for interleaved circuit converter. Here we can able to see one, two, three, four, four number of inductors we have used and two diodes, two power devices, MOSFET. Here we have used the IR fate party. It's a MOSFET we have used here. And four number of capacitor to here. One is here and here for filtering you filtering purpose we have used on capacitor and here residue load. Just like the circuit diagram we have created this main circuit. So, sorry, I told now four inductors one two three four four inductors two diodes and two power switches and. This is the whole hardware unit means TSP microcontroller board and TLP2 driver unit, main power circuit, and 12 volt step down transformer for interleaved circuit converter and 12 volt step down transformer for TLP2 driver board and same voltage for DSP microcontroller also. And instead of this 12 volt step down transformer for the main circuit, we can either use DC voltage like regulated power supply, battery or solar panel. Now we can see the hardware. 
This is the main hollow inlet for interleaved septic converter. It's the main circuit for interleaved septic converter. For this, we are using the controller DSP 30F40 on. TLP turbo key driver unit. 12 volts step down AC transformer to power up TLP turbo key driver board. 12 volts step down transformer to power up main circuit. Instead of this transformer, we can either use RPS, regulated power supply, solar panel, or battery. Any DC voltage also we can use. Here we are using the MOSFET IRF840. Instead of IRF840, we can use IRF460, IRF250, or any IDBT. From DSP controller, the pulse is given to the TLP to driver board. Now I am going to turn off TLP to driver unit and the DSP controller. Now the TLP to driver unit and the DSP controller is turned on. Now I am going to give the duty cycle by using these switches. While giving the duty cycle, this LED will go. This switch is for increment and this switch is for decrement. See the LED. Now I am going to decrease. The controller will generate the pulse around 3.3 volt to 5 volt. The steel bit of the driver unit is used to amplify and isolate the pulse and give to this MOSFET. The isolated pulse will be around 50 volt. We can see the comparison of this pulse and the TLP output pulse. Now I am going to see the pulse given by TSP controller. This is the ground pin and We can see the waveform difference by interchanging the pulses. We can see the pulse variation by varying the duty cycle. Now I am going to increase the duty cycle. We can see the variation in waveform. Now I am going to decrease the duty cycle. Now we can see the isolated PLP to driver out. Around 15 volt. Now we can see the variation by increasing and decreasing the duty cycle. Now I am going to decrease the duty cycle. Now I am going to increase the duty cycle. Yeah, we can see the variation. Yeah, now I am going to turn on the load step down AC transformer, which is given to interlude septic converter. Now I am going to connect the probe across this load resistor. Yeah. This is the output DC voltage. We can check that. We are using the total shutdown transformer 
the input is the volt and here we can see the output for internet circuit converter I have kept the voltage at 20 volt here we can able to see 20, 40, it's around 50 volt the input is 12 volt we can measure the voltage by using multimeter also Now we can measure the input voltage given to intelligent circuit converter. We can able to see 11.90. And now we are going to check the output voltage by using multimeter. Output is DC. Cancel. Yeah, it's around 71.2 volt. We can able to see the voltage in multimeter also. We can also see the output waveform difference by changing the duty safety. Now I am going to decrease the duty safety. We can see the waveform. Yeah. Now the voltage is dropping. We can able to see. Now I am going to increase the duty cycle. You can see the waveform difference. Now I am going to change the duty cycle, we can see the difference on the waveform. Now I am going to decrease. Now I am going to increase the duty cycle. This is the output for interleaved circuit converter. Instead of this transformer, we can also use solar panel, battery, regulated power supply, any DC voltage we can use. Specification In this, we have used TSP 30F4011 microcontroller and TLP 250 driver board, 12 volt step down transformer for driver board and microcontroller. And don't lose step down transformer for converter power circuit. Instead of that, we can use battery, solar panel, regulated power supply, anything else. And 5 watts load resistor. Customization of project as per need. We can change anything else according to our voltage voltage need. DIY package. You can make this product at your home by using these items. DSP 30 or 400 controller. Project coding and TLP2 free driver board required numbers and 12 volt step down transformer as per our need and 2 pin power card, RMC characters as our requirement and GP board. IR of 8 parties are possible we are using here and bridge rectifier, diode, inductor and capacitor as per our requirement and 5 watts resistive load. And while you are doing this project in your room, we can provide up to 2 hours guidance. For testing this project, we need multimeter, DSO or CRO and soldering air. Testing equipment not included in DAV package. We can provide all, other than that, all items we can provide, including the guidance. By using that, you can do the project at your home. Thank you. So you need this project or some more item free paper projects, you can contact this number. 
and send the mail to this once again. Thank you for watching this. Thank you.